Alrighty, so I'm going to do one last video for Chaos PvP. I've already got two other videos uploaded for tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, and this is the team that we're going to be using. I just got a comment like 20 minutes ago about using this team. And I thought it sounded cool. And he said that he was been uh, he has been using attack food with it, which I think is interesting. Because I, I really, you know, like most people, I only ever use like CC food or evasion food or maybe HP food from time to time. Uh, so running attack food actually sounds pretty cool. Obviously, I think the idea behind the team is Ghislaine's going to tank for us because he's, you know, she is going to be targeting the top CC character on the enemy team. Uh, and then hopefully we can get Zahard going. Um, and then Roxy's shield can help a little bit. And if they break it, we get attack related stats. Um, just overall kind of an interesting setup. So, kind of interested. I gotta remember how to use Zahard for one. I haven't used him, I don't think, since the last Chaos PvP season. So, I'm pretty sure when we have his second passive, which will be our turn one, uh, we need to use the single target. And then after that, we need to use the AoE on turn two. So, luckily I have Stance Cancel with this team, which is quite nice. Um, he stanced... Or he used the buff card with Matrona second, so I can't actually stance cancel, which is smart on his end, actually. Uh, he did not break my shield. Actually, oh yeah, he didn't break the shield, so I get the attack related. Okay, so that's actually really good. Uh, hmm, I think let's go for... Hmm, we're going to give Melly true magic, I think. But that might not be terrible. Uh, the problem here is that Deanne is actually the one taunt... Or, uh, you know targeted not melee oh my god that's a lot of damage okay boom pretty good damage there uh type disadvantage still kills okay that's actually really good and then we can stance cancel her if we need to obviously he's going to throw the single target i guess which he could actually hit as hard i I don't think Zahard can die this turn, though, so if he actually does attack into Zahard, it's really good for us. I'm not sure who he's going to fight here. If he goes for Zahard, that's a good thing. But I'm assuming he won't. We'll see. He does. Okay. Oh, no, the dogs are barking. They can't ruin this video. It could be good. Okay. Yes. We're down to one HP. That's actually so good. <laughs> Um, if we, if we cancel the stance, it's going to give him crit defense, if I'm not mistaken. But I think we should do that anyway. Um, let's do it like this. So we stance cancel. We get some AoE damage out with the Roxy, which she was actually doing some pretty good damage with the Pierce. Ooh, that crit defense might have been a bad idea. Ah, oh, pretty good, but not enough. Oh, man, that is so unfortunate. I should have drained just to be safe, but I really wanted him to get the kill there. I'm just having fun with it nonetheless, so I'm not I'm not too worried about losing or anything. I did want to talk about uh, this uh, season of chaos as well, just because, you know, this being the last video, uh, and this season only lasts for one week, so this should probably be the last video you see from me doing chaos pvp so yeah that is something he does have true magic here so i'm probably dead yeah honestly you know good game to him i'm glad he's using a team that's not like super annoying uh, like i actually like that team that's kind of cool but uh yeah i don't know this season has been very interesting i guess um you know it's pretty much like every season that I, you know, as far as I can remember, um, I'm always super excited going into a Chaos PvP season because I'm like, oh man, I'm going to get to use all these cool characters that haven't been used in a while, and like the meta will be super cool and diverse and everything. And then in all reality, it's just the beginning was just a bunch of Escanor teams, and then it was just Arthur teams throughout the entire rest of the season, like after like day two. Uh, and Arthur was incredibly annoying to play against for most of the teams that I was just trying to have fun with, so that really sucked. Um, and then on top of that, the Geldas were, you know, they weren't like super, super relevant for me. I know a lot of people in my comments were saying that they were fighting Geldas pretty often, so... 
I, you know, I feel that uh, she was definitely annoying for me as well from the time to time when I actually did face her. But uh, honestly, Arthur kind of ruined the season for me personally. Like it just, I, I understand that I'm in the minority of people who are actually trying out like a bunch of different teams because realistically, people are. Uh, oh, mm, it's not terrible. She gets the attack related, but nobody else does, which is a little unfortunate. Luckily, we can stance cancel this. Uh, I actually don't know who's best to go for here. Is it still now for me? I don't know. Because we can probably pop his Rex. The Percival's going to mitigate some damage, though, so i got to worry about that a little bit. Um... What was I even saying? <laughs> Arthur kind of ruined the season for me personally. I thought he was really, really annoying. And like, oh, I was saying, I'm in the minority. I'm I'm playing a whole bunch of different teams. Most people... Ah, not enough. I think the damage mitigation kind of killed that a little bit, but understandably so. Um, but yeah, I'm trying a bunch of stuff. Most people are just going to end up running like a team that they find that's really good, and they're just going to run it until like the points are too high for them to like use the same setup or like maybe swap a, a character out here or there or something like that. Uh, most of the people aren't going to actually be worried too much about like running all kinds of different teams like I was, uh, which is you know it's just a me problem as a content creator. It is what it is. I'm not that like upset about it or anything, of course. But uh, it, it does kind of suck sometimes going up against these, uh, you know, same, same teams and everything. And it just kind of, I don't know, it just gets kind of boring on my end. Like, it kind of, it, when I'm trying to, f like, just showcase, like, a fun, interesting team and I just keep getting destroyed by the same old, same old every single time. Like, it, 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 it really ruins my motivation to, uh, to actually record the videos sometimes. Like, I tried to record one this morning with a Vitoria team and I went up against, like, like several Arthur setups and I just couldn't kill Arthur in time and just I don't know like I'm not the best player to begin with Zahar did terrible there uh, but it uh, it just kind of is what it is I'm not I'm not too worried about it either way but it, you know it, it's just kind of sucks to see you know people just obviously I think the big problem uh, is that this game mode has a, a reward tied behind it there's there's a there's a gym reward you want to be in the top 1% you want to try to get those 100 gems because 100 gems is not a small amount um, especially for like a, a random game mode that they do from time to time so obviously you want to try to get that and uh, people of course are just going to try to use whatever is absolutely best for them and you know I get it it also brings out a lot of toxicity. I, I, there's so many players that I went up against this season who just were using the little, you know, laughing emotes and stuff like that. And, like, I don't care for the most part. Like, it's it's just kind of whatever. But um, it is pretty annoying to see from time to time. So I, I, I get it. But I don't know. You just you hate to see people being... Like it, I don't know. It's not even really that toxic, I guess. But you, you know that they're just like, haha. Like I'm using a meta team. I beat you. Uh, you know, you're using something. You know, that's obviously doesn't stand a chance against this team, basically. And then they still laugh. Emo. I don't know. It can be frustrating. It is what it is, though. I mean, people do it all the time. You can obviously you can hide stamps too. But I feel like every time I hit the hide stamps button, it just defaults back to on next time I get on anyway so I just I forget to do it every time I don't I don't know it's not that big of a deal either way but uh, I don't know just something that kind of just gets under your skin a little bit when you see it you know too many times but uh, we have two ults in hand which I'm interested I don't have any more stance cancels which could be a problem he's going to take the ult off of Zahard does he have stance or ultimate removal for both he does oh he doesn't break the shield Oh, and she's going to get attack related here. This ult hits really hard. Okay. I do have stance cancel now. I think we stance cancel because the stance is really good. Um, let's go ahead and take the ultimate off just in case. Because he's obviously still got revive as well. We're going to end up disabling Ghislaine here. Which is going to be a little unfortunate. I actually don't know. He's still got Percival. He's still got Percival, so, um, the damage mitigation and everything. Okay, that was pretty good if I had only targeted <laughs> the correct character. 
I'm just I'm talking too much. I think is the problem here, but I'm I'm having fun talking, so I don't really care. It is what it is. Uh, he does have a backliner, so he has potential to stance into ult here. I think okay, he is stancing into ult. He's probably gonna kill somebody. Has to go for Galane. He uh, what you call it? Stat lowers. That is incredibly unfortunate. I really wish I had played that correctly, because we might actually lose now because of this. Uh, I don't have stance cancel anymore either, which is also unfortunate. Let's just go for... This, we'll just grab both ultimates. He's already at max stack, so there's nothing I can really do there. We're just going to try to... Oh, okay. Actually, decent damage there. Um, Gil Thunder doesn't have a way to remove ultimates or anything. He's basically just going to have to use Nalfami attack cards if he has them here. And if it's anything like me, his hand's full of Gil Thunder. Okay, he, he does actually have an attack. Honestly, I can't even be mad. It just is what it is. I do get my ultimate off, but I, let's be honest, this ultimate's not the best. It's okay. Increases hero's crit damage by 70%. I, I threw the game on this one very hard. That is so unfortunate. Yeah, that's alright. It's decent, but... Yikes! Uh, okay, I have Immortality. But I think I'm going to lose my passive this next turn, which means that I'm cooked. So, either way, I think we'll move on. I don't think I stand a chance here. He's getting his ultimate again. And I think that was a level 2 or higher stance, which means that uh, he's going to unfortunately have his stance on whenever he ults me so it is what it is it is a uh, good game and uh we'll move on <laughs> that through all right okay here's an arthur team this is gonna probably kill me inside i am just i have been having the worst luck with arthur's so oh he gets a turn one uh card merge as well that is fantastic for me um I need to save my cards this turn, so let's maybe merge this, throw this out, and throw this out. We can stance cancel the Alioni next turn. Okay, that actually evaded. Little unfortunate that he's running evasion food. Okay, that was really good damage, actually. Um. Okay, good merge. Not sure if I'm going to have enough to actually kill. Especially with the fact that he's getting, like, crit defense stacks. But this is triple pierce rate. Hero's attack plus 40% when using a skill. Uh, let's go for the stance cancel into the level 1, into the level 2. That is going to disable us, unfortunately. Which is very unfortunate. Uh... Maybe should have went for Ghislaine's ultimate. Not actually sure. Okay. I think there's a chance. I mean, I think he's got... I think he's got Tarmiel Link. But, can we kill? Let's go. I mean, if he would have went first, we would have been cooked. Straight out of the gate. It didn't matter. We were cooked. Because he got the turn one merge. He was going to triple attack or something like that. So set up. I wouldn't have been able to get to him at all. Luckily, I mean, we did go first. So that's at least somewhat nice. Um, yeah, alright, that's not too bad. I mean, we can use the AoEs this next turn. Hopefully he'll attack into my Zahard a little bit, but I kind of doubt it. Okay, he is for some reason. I'm not really sure what he's doing. Um, well, uh, let's go for level 1, level 2, into the ult removal on him just in case, because I've been down this road one too many times. <laughs> Boom. Okay, this will hopefully kill Alioni and Hauser, please. It does. Okay, great. He's going to stance me a little bit. I will pull my ultimate here, and we are draining. And he doesn't have any cards in hand to merge, so that actually should work out pretty good. Would have been nice to get Ghislaine's ultimate again, but... I need to, I, unfortunately, the heart is timed. Like, you really have to use the cards when you're supposed to, or else it just falls apart pretty quick. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, still have Drain, which is great. We can even Stance Cancel him, which is awesome. He doesn't have Tarmiel Link, does he? He doesn't, okay. So I think what we do is 
something like this. That way he's not going to merge, and we should deal hopefully enough damage to just go ahead and kill this turn. What's the single target going to do? Level 2. Bam. Nice. I think he forfeit. Yeah. Cool. All right. Decent game. Uh, I need to grab, I think, two more tickets. All right. What do we got? Ooh, okay. A Zeldra's team is very scary. Um, especially now that I've used a Zeldra's team. <laughs> Zeldra's is incredibly scary. His CC is not great, so I'm hoping we can deal some pretty decent damage here. Okay, has to attack into Ghislaine. That actually works really well. He disables himself. He can move a card to actually cleanse that, though. Um, let's go for something like this. Try to kill off that Melascula right here, so I don't have to worry about a revive or anything. Good damage into pretty good damage. This will kill, no problem. Yeah, I mean, you know, 100k is good, but I mean, uh, I want him to do more. I really like him as a character. So cool. Very interesting. Just, just not quite there. Ooh, okay. Perfect setup. It would be nice if he could deal some damage to Zahard, or we just leave the, the shield intact for him. That would be great, too. Moving a card, getting rid of his Disable. That's fair, which means he does have a card in hand. Going for a big single target. Kills Ghislaine. Okay, outright. Just absolutely just murdered her. Okay. We have type advantage on the Zeldris, which is really cool. Let's go for... This, this, this. So boom, that already did decent damage on its own. So I think we're, I think we're cooking here. Let's go. <laughs> All right, hey. we got the combo. Let's go. It's really hard to get level threes and stuff with him when not running a Gother. But God, he's he's so cool, man. He's I hate that they made him like incredibly specific because he would have been so much fun to use like on a regular basis. All right, Angel Team is interesting. Ooh, good CC too. This is gonna be terrible. I can feel it. He's gonna be able to put a shield up. That's gonna be not great. Um. That Liz shouldn't really do much of anything for him. I basically just need to kill Mael ASAP, so... Okay, going for Roxy. Ooh, this is going to deal a lot of damage to her. Does he have double AoE? Okay, he doesn't. That's great. I don't actually know... If I'm going to be able to get through these shields very easily. Uh, did break the shield on everybody, so no attack-related stats. Let's just go ahead and hit my yell if we can. So this does not break the shield. That is very unfortunate. This does break the shield on my yell, so that's good. So it's not going to eat anything up because he that is a really good shield. Okay, good damage. I'm not complaining. I mean, it is what it is. The only unfortunate part is he can life steal a lot. So we got to worry about that a little bit. Um. We only have a level 1 AoE as well, so I really need him to hopefully not kill Ghislaine here. Okay, hitting Roxy again. Single targets into the Ghislaine. Okay, doesn't kill Ghislaine. Um, we're going to get the attack related with him, which is good. Uh, hmm. Ah, damn, man, he's got... The shield is so annoying, dude. I almost need to push for an ultimate or something. Let's go for this. And then we're going to push for his ultimate. Because he's got to attack into... Oh, that actually breaks the shield. That's great. Okay. Not great damage, I'll be honest. It is what it is. But the ultimate will maybe help me. Uh, Ghislaine might die here, depending on his card draw, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm... If he doesn't kill Roxy, I could usually ult gauge drain. Maybe. I'm not too sure yet. Hopefully he does not have another shield, because holy, that is annoying. Um, she does have AoE skills, so maybe she breaks my shield here. It does, actually. Actually strong enough to break the shield. Kind of surprising, I gotta say. 
This is an ult drain, if I'm not mistaken. It is, okay. A bit unfortunate for me. Uh, into another AoE. Okay, I was about to say that's gonna kill Roxy. Very, very close. Uh, hmm. That, that ultimate's gonna be incredibly annoying. Actually, she's disabled. So I think... I think we just try to go for my L, I guess? I'm kind of at a loss on this one. I... I'm not sure. Ooh, good damage there. Okay, my L's dead. He can't actually get that ultimate off. Well, I'm... I mean, he can get the ultimate off, but I don't think it's going to do anything. I think I just had a really good guard draw here compared to him. He just I think he had a really bad guard draw is really what I'm trying to say. Um, Roxy's low, which is a, a bit of an issue, but... Does this do anything? Does it even heal? Because normally it heals, puts on a shield, reflects. Okay, it actually does reflect and everything? Okay, he's disabled, though, so that, that doesn't actually get through anything. Uh, what level is this Reflect, though? Because that actually could be a big problem. 5, 6. Yikes. Okay, I gotta be careful here. We're gonna do this, so that way I get ultimate with everybody. That actually... Oof, that was a lot. Okay, breaks the shield on both of these, but we have ultimates in hand. I, I just don't want to try to fight into that reflect and just die, because <laughs> obviously that would be detrimental. Um, getting the ultimate off with her, th the fact that that does that while, while still disabled actually really surprises me. Like, I you know, it's not, you know, crazy crazy, but it's unfortunate for me. Okay, Roxy dies. That is unfortunate for me. Okay, attacking into the Zahard. I'm kind of okay with that. I think the more HP we're losing, the better, right? Uh, oof. Problem is, is I think he gains HP back whenever you attack into the, the shield. I think this is my last game anyway. I'm just going to full send it. I'm just going to go for it. I, I, I could stall another turn, but he might end up pulling extra ult drains. Oh, okay. Alright, I did not actually expect Zahard to just one-shot. I figured we were going to do a little bit of damage and then Ghislaine would one-shot. Happy that he got the windscreen, though. Um, do we have one more? No, okay, that was it. So, I guess that's it. Um, I'm kind of happy with that. We got a couple of decent wins with it, and I'm not upset about it. I think I could have won that second game, too, if I had not been, you know, yapping my, my, my brain off. Uh, so unfortunate that I kind of threw that one, but I actually really enjoyed this one. This one was kind of fun. I'm glad I had one more decent video before the season's over with. Hopefully you guys are having at least some fun in Chaos PvP. I know it's not great, uh, you know, for me sometimes, and I'm assuming you guys probably are having some annoying matches as well, but uh, hopefully you get some decent rewards. Hopefully you make it to whatever percentage you want to try to make it to, and uh, yeah, hopefully it's uh, you, you had a good time, I, I, I hope. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys tomorrow.